Hey guys, welcome to Enzyme Mental. Before we begin, hit that subscribe button below and click the bell so you don't miss any notifications. And today I wanted to talk to you about nitric oxide's effect on brain activity. The body produces nitric oxide naturally, where it promotes both vasodilation and relaxation. And both of these things increase blood flow and oxygen delivery. And this is why nitric oxide is also known as our endogenous blood pressure balancer. In the cardiovascular system, nitric oxide is a primary force behind homeostasis as it modulates inflammation and prevents markers of atherosclerosis like white blood cells adhering to the endothelium and blood platelet aggregation. Nitric oxide is created from the amino acid L-arginine and the metabolic enzyme nitric oxide synthase. Neurons, glial cells, and vascular cells can all express nitric oxide synthase. In the brain, nitric oxide contributes to the maintenance of nerve cells, primarily by participating in the monocyte macrophage brain system known as microglia, which constantly clears metabolic waste from brain tissue while also supporting learning and memory. But nitric oxide can also be problematic, especially for an aging brain or anyone with sporadic or traumatic brain injuries when nitric oxide reacts with existing oxidants to form the superoxidant peroxynitrate, a gaseous compound that can diffuse easily throughout the neuronal membranes, damaging lipids, proteins, and DNA. This is definitely a contributing factor to the neurodegeneration seen in conditions like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's disease. When a pathogen enters the body, the immune system activates nitric oxide production through the L-arginine pathway and also the metabolic enzyme inducible nitric oxide synthase, which is activated by inflammatory cytokines. When inducible nitric oxide synthase is active for extended time periods, this can lead to a depletion of L-arginine, which further propels inflammation. The brain is highly susceptible to oxidative stress. As we know, it famously utilizes at least 20% of all the oxygen we take in. The brain also utilizes most of the antioxidants we ingest compared to other organs, Thus, the brain is vulnerable to the oxidative stress that increases with aging. So how do we safely increase nitric oxide while avoiding oxidation? The easiest way is to eat vegetables naturally high in nitrates like celery, lettuce, spinach, arugula, and most famously, beetroot. When we eat these foods, these dietary nitrates are converted into nitric oxide without the necessity of the nitric oxide synthase enzyme, and their naturally occurring antioxidants, along with daily supplemental antioxidants, can inhibit the formation of oxidative nitrate compounds like nitrosamine and their carcinogenic potential. This is a large reason why many people often avoid nitric oxide, unfortunately. Also, nitric oxide breaks down in the bloodstream very rapidly, so this is why constant replenishment is necessary, along with, again, a high antioxidant intake, as antioxidants will greatly reduce nitric oxide's degradation. Nitric oxide is an example of what's known as a Janus molecule, or a molecule that can exhibit both beneficial and toxic effects. And as I've hopefully demonstrated, Maintaining a high intake of dietary and supplemental antioxidants is critical for keeping nitric oxide useful. I've used concentrated beet crystals as a pre-workout supplement for many years because of its nitric oxide induced blood boosting effect. Like many natural compounds, natural nitric oxide production plummets after age 40. It reduces even further if someone has a condition like heart disease, diabetes, or hypertension. There are a number of nitric oxide supplements available, and these combinations often include beetroot with cayenne pepper, ginseng, and even CoQ10, as all of these things contribute to nitric oxide production. You could also take the amino acid L-arginine or even the amino acid L-citrulline, which converts in the bloodstream to a longer lasting and far more qualitative form of arginine. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzyme Mental. Stay healthy.